This year, Rob and I decided to get our kids a big shared present. We have a four-year-old son and an almost 18-month-old daughter, and we decided to get them this dollhouse. We know that they will get years of enjoyment from it. This is the Hand and Hearth with Magnolia dollhouse that's available at Target. It's actually the model that they came out with last year, but it is still available. There's a newer model that's available from this year, which is more of a farmhouse. But we really loved the style of this one, which maybe this is also a farmhouse, but it has kind of a more townhousey sort of style. Or anyway, we just love the way this looks, and we think our kids are going to love it too. I'm so excited to see their faces on Christmas morning. Now let me go ahead and show you what we got for each of them individually. My daughter is getting two books from us, Lift the Flap Fairy Tales, which I know she and my son are going to love. My daughter is so into Lift the Flaps, and my son has really started to get into fairy tales and knowing the stories this year, so this is really something they'll be both enjoying. But we decided to give this specifically to Emerald, our daughter, because of the flaps. There are so many flaps in this book, and I know she's going to be crazy about it because that's her absolute favorite type of book right now, are flap books. And then Madeline, because it's such a classic, I think she's really going to like it now, and I also think it'll be something that'll grow with her over time. Yellow is also her favorite color, and that is the color that Madeline wears a lot, so I think that'll be really appealing for her. Because Emerald is really into babies, we decided to get her a baby. This is a wee baby Stella, so it's a soft baby doll, and it has a magnetic mouth and a pacifier that goes in the mouth, which Emerald actually never took a pacifier, so I'm not sure how appealing that'll be for her, but I think that kids just love magnets. I mean, adults do too, we all do, so that'll be nice. And the main reason we actually went with this one is because of its green little outfit, and since our daughter's name is Emerald, I really like getting her green things, so when I saw this, I just fell in love with it and had to get it for her. She loves doggies, so we also got her this poodle. It's by Jelly Cat, and it's very, very soft. We have several other of the jelly cat animals that are the same size and they're my four-year-old's very favorite thing and Emerald has really just started to kind of get into them and like them and I think she's really going to love this doggy because she loves doggies so, so much. I'm really hoping that she'll say woo 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 when we give it to her because that's what she likes to say if you ask her what a doggy says. She says woo 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 in the cutest little voice. I looked and looked for a tea set to go in my kids play kitchen. I wanted something that was not porcelain because I just think my son is very rough and my daughter is very young so a porcelain tea set would really not work out for us at this time and I didn't want something that was plastic and I didn't want anything that sang or was obnoxiously colored so that led me to this Melissa and Doug stainless steel tea set. I'm excited that the teacups and everything, you can really put liquid and drink out of them, so that's nice. And I'm also excited that it comes with, you can't really see but very well, but in the bottom here, there's a little, oh, here's a picture, that's better. It comes with a little pitcher for cream that looks exactly like the sort of little pitcher that they give you at a restaurant if you get cream for your coffee. And Emerald always wants to grab at that little pitcher. Hopefully both her and my son will get a lot of use out of this. I used to have these little people toys when I was little, when they looked more like this retro version. The, the people actually, these um, throwback ones, try to focus there, are actually chunkier than the ones that I used to play with back in the 80s. I think because maybe those ones were choking hazards, who knows. But anyway, I was really excited to get this for Emerald because I guess it reminds me of happy childhood memories. And this is another toy that both she and my son I think will love because we have a really huge little people collection. And I think this will go really nicely right with the other items we have. This is possibly the only musical toy that we got this year. But it's really cute. It's, I think this is the same song that a music box I used to have when I was a little girl played. So hopefully Emerald will really love that. Finally, we have this little donkey, Mommy and Baby. 
we're really big fans of these really highly detailed plastic animals and we decided to get Emerald um, the donkey mommy and baby because I think she'll really enjoy those. I've actually debated whether these should go in the stocking or under the tree. They're a little small for going under the tree but they're a little bit expensive for being a stocking gift. I usually like to do sort of one more expensive thing in the stocking and then most of the other things be sort of lower priced items. So together the price of these I think puts them under the tree, but they are really little so I'm not sure. These may end up getting in the stocking. We'll have to see how that goes. Moving on to my four-year-old son. He really likes to dress up lately and he's really interested in doing magic tricks and also in being very fancy. I'm not totally sure if he has a concept of the magician as it is here with, you know, this type of like a David Blaine sort of a magician, but I know he's really gonna love this because I know he's gonna love the fanciness of the cape and the bow tie and the hat. I think he could also pretend to be a vampire while he's wearing this, which might really appeal to him as well. And I think doing tricks with a magic wand could end up being something that he's really excited about. So I just know he is going to love this. This year at my husband's request, both my husband and son are getting these harmonicas so they can learn how to play together. I know my son is gonna be psyched about this. He loves to play music with his daddy and his name is Harper, which actually can be a name for a harmonica player. So this is perfect for him. Ever since we saw the Disney Cinderella movie, my son has been obsessed with the idea of finding a little mouse and making it some clothes and somehow rescuing it. So when Anthropology was having a super sale, I went ahead and splurged and got him this little absolutely twee, so, so, so cute mouse in a box. I was really tempted actually to get a whole mouse family to populate the dollhouse, but the mouse is a little delicate and my son is a little rough. So I really wanted to see how he did with one mouse before I invested in a whole mouse family. Let me go ahead and open up the suitcase so you can see the little mouse in here. Here is the mouse. He's dressed as a superhero and as you can see, he's absolutely adorable and totally the right scale to go in this house. So if we do end up deciding to get more of these mice, this would really actually be perfect. Dragons Love Tacos is a book that my son already knows and loves. We've had it from the library twice, but I've held off from letting us get it out anytime recently because I knew after having it out from the library that this was a book we really wanted to own. Now that Harper is old enough to do board games, I think we'll probably do a board game every year. So we decided to go with Shoots and Ladders. Right now the only game that we have is Candyland and he loves it but we've really been looking to expand. And he's right at that point where he can play games, but not all of them, obviously. So this is another one that seems like it's really appropriate for his age, and hopefully we're gonna have a lot of fun playing it. We also got him some more play food for the play kitchen that we have. I think that he'll really like this because he started to get really interested in learning his alphabet and learning how to read different things. He always wants to know what something says. So I think having this food where it says something will be really interesting for him, whereas maybe I think a few years ago it wouldn't have been so much. Although, of course, my daughter will be playing with this as well because she also loves the kitchen, but I thought he would particularly like this. And I think they'll both really enjoy putting it in. We have a toy Melissa and Doug shopping cart. I think they'll like putting it in there and wheeling it around. And we got him this dinosaur fingerling. He's really started to get interested in dinosaurs this year and I think the fingerling is super cute. I think he'll really enjoy it. It's probably the most flashy item we got in the sense that as you saw pretty much nothing else is like a battery operated or even a plastic type of item so this though I think he'll just we just decided he would really like it and it's blue which is his favorite color so hopefully he'll be really really psyched about that. So hopefully my kids are going to be really, really excited on Christmas morning when they open their gifts. And I am going to be taping that and putting it up on my channel because I'm doing Vlogmas this year. So that means a new video every day from now till Christmas. 